Was <laughs> <laughs> goeie morgen, hier so van die redeling is gesin af. Um, good morning to everyone. Um, <laughs> yeah, I thought it well to hello. I thought it well to get them in as well because they've been such a big part of this lockdown time. And just to have them in to treat you guys with a with a better view than myself. Um to get some pretty people in, into the shot as well. Uh, but yeah, Monique asked me to do a video um in this lockdown time about the different challenges that we do have. And yeah, to be honest, there is challenges. I think all of us can confess to that. But what we've been trying to do and yeah, what I've learned over the time is yeah, to focus on the on the negative things are just gonna make you negative. If we focus on the positive things and the things we can be grateful for, yeah, it tends to just be so much easier. Um so yeah, we are fortunate that we are staying here uh, on the farm. So there's a lot of activities we can do. There's a lot of time the kids can go outdoors. And I must say the challenge is with the two kids in the house. Um, it does get really busy um, doing meetings. And what is fun is in our team meetings, it's something that we've put in place to while we have team meetings um, for the team. So we have 40 guys on a Zoom call. Um, and if the guys forget to mute their, <laughs> mute their microphones, there's a couple of interesting things that come out. Uh, you see the kids pop in every now and then. Um, yeah, so it's just been a, it's been a different time, but there's it's been a, such a special time in the same breath, and it's been a lot of time for family, something that we normally don't have, um, which is a massive privilege. Um, so yeah, focusing on that really makes this time so much easier. Like I said, we've we, what we've been trying to do at the Lions is we have our coaches meetings in the mornings and then team meetings, which is lacking. Yes, I love seeing the guys faces and there's always a couple of jokes in the beginning of a meeting and it's just nice to see the guys yes because we we do miss each other a lot maybe it's just me i don't think so but i've been missing the guys a lot and so missing the contact with the guys because we do spend so much time together and i think it's been nine weeks now that we haven't seen each other so it's really getting long now but the meetings do help um what we focus on in the meetings is, is obviously there's been a lot to reflect on um, after the first six games in Super Rugby this year. Um, there's been a lot that we, a lot of work on that we had to talk through. Um, I believe we, we've made great progress in this time. And the unfortunate thing is we couldn't start to see the, see the progress. Um, but uh, yeah, the, the mindset that we've been challenging, the, yeah, the whole idea of how we're going to go forward now, I think Cash has led it up really well. Um, just to get us focused on a, a new beginning, um, which we can't wait for. Um, really excited to get started again. So as soon as it ends, we can't wait to drive back to Joburg every morning early and see the boys and, and start working and doing what we love. So, yeah, for me as a forge coach and a scrum coach, um, especially it is tough because how are you going to scrum at home? Um, I don't know how many guys as wives or girlfriends would be keen to try, <laughs> do live scrumming one-on-ones. But yeah, so there's a lot we can do actually. There's uh, Rupert has sent the guys a lot of good exercises to focus on posture and shape, getting the guys a scrum, uh, core strong, focusing on the things you can do, um, working on shape, um, obviously getting the muscle strong that you use for scrumming. So I think that's the main thing we could have done in this time. So obviously a challenge, um, but, but good as well. Um, there's a lot of time that we could review all the scrums that we ha did have before, and obviously look at the things that we need to do better. Um, and that is a privilege um, to, to have this time to do that. Um, also, what has been great in this time is um, is to spend time on individual growth. And, uh, and that's what we've been encouraging the guys. So in our team meetings, we've played a couple of videos um, to the guys, TED Talks, stuff like that. And it's just to encourage us to to think further and to, and to think about growth um, because that's ideally what everyone wants to do is, is, is if you're not growing you, you're going backwards so for us we want to keep the guys growing and it, and it starts with us as well so you're on the farm been trying to keep active waking up early in the mornings yeah so for me personally um yeah i've been listening to a lot of coaches talk um, a lot of coaches podcast um, there's a lot of great coaches out there that we can learn from there's a lot of um yeah i like listening to it because usually in the mornings driving to Joburg, it's about a 50 minute drive if there's no traffic for me in the morning so it's a great time for me to spend time on podcasts or listen to sermons so for me still that's what i've been trying to do and, and we're fortunate within our coaches a group we <laughs> get a lot of great podcasts and, and videos to watch um, that guys have watched and then says yes guys let's all watch this together so yeah there's a lot we've been doing like that so for me personally trying to wake up early in the mornings it's a 
it gets <laughs> it gets um, it gets light late in the morning now these days, and it's cool in the mornings. But trying to wake up early, get productive timing before the kids wake up um, and one breakfast, uh, and then getting training in during the day. Um, sometimes I don't train as much as I used to, um, but yeah, there's a, I, I, I do. I think I'm quite active running after the kids during the day. So yeah, for me that's a great day. Waking up early, getting some work done, training, spending time with the kids. Um, I'm on the on the phone quite a lot because um, I do miss people. So <laughs> I want to spend time talking to people, and then, yeah, juggling the time between myself and my wife because she obviously has a lot of a lot to do. Um, yeah, running running the congregation on her side. So she she's also busy. My mother in law did stay here with us a bit, which really did help. Um, to look after the kids so yeah I've been, it's been a busy time but it, it's uh it's such a massive privilege so focusing on the on the positives in this time i think that's what drives us and, and wakes me up every morning um and yeah can't wait for every day and it actually the time flies by quickly um so yeah i can't wait to get back really can't wait to get back i'm sure all of you are with me in that and um, can't wait to get back onto emirates airline park and and playing and and hopefully inspiring you guys so yeah, as soon as we can go, I'm sure we'll be there. Um, hopefully, it's sooner rather than later. Um, but I hope you guys are also staying positive. I hope you guys are also um, keeping uh, or having something to hope for. Um, I think hope is one thing that really drives us, is if we have something that we hope for. Uh, and we know, um, yeah, we know there's great things ahead. Um, and this too shall pass. So let's stay positive. Let's um, all stay strong together. Um, let's all stay positive together. And thanks for all the support in this time, guys. Um, and I hope all of your families are safe and hope you're having a blessed time. Let's make the best of this time. We won't get this much time with our families again. I know it drives us crazy sometimes, but it is really special. I don't think we'll ever have a time like this again. So let's stay positive. Um, yeah, and thanks for everyone that is, is sending positive messages. And really appreciate you guys. And can't wait to see you again on Emirates Airline Park. Cheers. Bye-bye.